Have you ever wondered where light comes from and how light can have different colors? Well, today we're going to look at a topic that helps explain that, and that is emission and absorption spectra. We're going to start off by recapping the electromagnetic spectrum, which ranges all the way from radio waves to gamma rays, with visible light falling somewhere in the middle, consisting of all lights in the visible spectrum. It is important to remember that electromagnetic waves that fall on the red side of the spectrum have a longer wavelength and a lower frequency, and those falling on the violet end of the spectrum have a shorter wavelength and a higher frequency. So firstly, let's look at emission spectra, and this occurs when a gas is heated. If we were to consider this element, where the white lines represent the energy levels and the green dots represent the electrons, and we were to heat this gas with, say, electric current, what this will do is it will give these electrons energy, which is enough energy to jump to a higher energy level. And when this electron is in a higher energy level, it is in an excited state, which is very unstable. And so the electron will exist there momentarily, but then drop back down to the lower stable energy level. And this jump back down will give off energy, which is called a photon. The energy of this photon is the energy difference between the higher energy level, E2, and the lower energy level, E1. And if we have the energy of a photon, we can get the frequency of the photon, and we can work out exactly where that photon falls on the electromagnetic spectrum. So, if we consider the example of hydrogen, we can represent the energy levels of hydrogen as these lines. And if this gas is heated, the electron will be excited to any of these energy levels, which means it has the possibility to jump back down, causing any of these transitions, each of which will give off a photon of light. Interestingly, these five transitions will give off photons that have a frequency that fall on the visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum. What this means is if we were to take hot hydrogen and pass the light that it gives off through a prism, we would see the following five lines. We can work out which transition causes each of these colors. So here, this is the smallest transition, which will be associated with a photon with the lowest energy and the lowest frequency. And here, this is the largest transition, which will be associated with the photon with the largest energy and the highest frequency. If you remember from the electromagnetic spectrum, Red light has the lowest frequency, therefore the red band will be due to the transition lowest in energy, and the violet band here will be due to the transition that is highest in energy. Next thing we're going to look at is the absorption spectra. While previously the emission spectra was due to a gas being heated and that giving off light, absorption spectra is due to white light being passed through a cold gas. If we take white light, and we pass this through a prism or diffraction grating, we see the following, which is the continuous spectrum, consisting of all lights in the visible spectrum. If we were to take white light and pass it through a cold gas, say hydrogen, well, what are we gonna see? If we remember with hydrogen, when the gas is heated, it gives off photons which have an energy, which is the difference between two of its energy levels. Now, when white light passes through the cold gas, it will absorb photons which are equal to the difference in the energy levels. So what's going to happen when we pass white light through cold hydrogen? So if we pass white light through cold hydrogen and then pass this light through a prism, we will see the following, which is the continuous spectrum with a few colors missing. And these colors are due to the photons that were absorbed by the cold hydrogen. What's really interesting is that the five lines that are missing from the absorption spectra are the five lines that are given off from the emission spectra. So in summary, the emission spectra occurs when a gas is heated and this gives off light. And these photons that are given off are due from the transition from a higher energy level to a lower energy level. Absorption spectra occurs when white light passes through a cold gas and it absorbs photons. And these transitions are from the lower energy levels to the higher energy levels. And that's emission and absorption spectra. And I really hope that helped you understand a little bit more about light.